Thanks once again for dropping by the channel. If you like the content, if you're new to the channel, please hit subscribe, share the video if you enjoyed, if you felt it was useful. Now let's get into this. So according to Bob Barham on ESPN, he says that Deontay Wilder, or I should say actually Tyson Fury versus Deontay Wilder 3, is being planned for July the 18th at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, same place where they had the second fight. That's according to Bob Arum. Um, it's obviously linked to the full article, which I'm not going to get into. I'm just going to give my two cents on that fight. So, the rematch. The rematch of the rematch. Obviously, with De Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. Realistically, it's 2-0 for Tyson Fury. Realistically. I mean, I thought he won the first fight. I know most people did. Second fight. Second fight, you know, a lot of people were picking Deontay Wilder. It was really kind of up in the air. I've seen so many people picking Deontay Wilder. For Tyson Fury to go in and do what he did, it really does leave you thinking, what can Deontay Wilder do differently in the rematch? And I'm going to attempt to make a video on that. Might not get it out tomorrow, but I'm going to attempt to. There's, there's precious little, I think, realistically, Deontay Wilder. Well, I say precious little. There is things he can do differently. But some of the main crucial things I think he should do differently is he needs to have a good, hard, long look at himself. You know, Look at the people in his team. Look at all the yes men. Look at the people like Shirley Finkel, Al Heyman. Uh, look at his performance in that first fight. Stop giving all these silly excuses, you know, and, and letting these Wilder fanboys gas him up with, oh, it's the gloves and, and you know, crap like that when it's, they're showing footage of the first fight, not even the second fight. So, that was some things the other should do differently. I don't know. I've, I've seen this fight twice. The first time, I was hyped for it. But it really only, I remember, it really only kind of hyped me, or really kind of got excited for it in the week of the fight. You know, because it was like, oh gee, this is really happening. And, you know, obviously it was fun to watch. I enjoyed it, enjoyed the fight. You know, obviously there was drama in that fight. But the second fight, that was where the excitement really kind of well, came from. You know, I was looking forward to that fight for a while. I was excited about that fight. And... For Tyson Fury to dominate the way he did, I mean, I, I didn't see it coming. I know a lot of people didn't see it coming. Some people thought he would, but they were kind of more Fury fans. I really didn't see a performance like that coming from Tyson Fury, truth be told. And having seen that, you got to imagine that Fury, he's only going to get better. He's going to have even more time to work with Sugar Hill, provided Sugar Hill stays in Team Fury. And I, I just think that this rematch, this third fight, this trilogy... It's not like, you know, a Gaddy Ward or an Ali Frazier or Baralis or Baralis, uh, Barrera Morales. It's not like that where the fights are competitive. You kind of don't know what's going to happen with this. You kind of get the impression that Tyson Fury is going to win this fight reasonably straight. Might even do it earlier this time. And with that, it kind of, I don't know, it, it kind of takes away. It kind of just takes something away. You, you wonder, will it do the same numbers because a lot of people are not... I suppose Tyson Fury's gaining more fans. It probably will do numbers, mainly Tyson Fury. But you got to imagine that knowing how one-sided the second fight was, you would imagine the third fight's going to probably be equally as one-sided. So are you looking forward to it in that sense? You know, how much will the show cost? Because we were hearing reports that this pay-per-view was hitting 800,000 buys and they needed to hit a million to break even. And then we're hearing reports that now it has hit a million would the second fight hit would the third fight hit a million i should say possibly you know probably will truth be told but i think that the anticipation factor the excitement has kind of gone out of that fight just purely because of the, the performance of tyson fury and the absolute ridiculous excuses deontay Wilder's is coming out with so you know it's things like that have kind of made me it, it, look this fight's going to happen it's in the contract but I don't know, I'm just not as excited for this fight as I was the first time. Those are my thoughts on this. Let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. A nice little short video here for you kind of to digest. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Subscribe, of course, if you are new. And as always, I will talk to you after.